Hi, I'm Brian Chow. Welcome to Syntax Technologies. Today, we'll discuss about SQL Accounting System, e-invoice module, the four basic settings for e-invoice. Let's get started. The first setting will be Company Profile. Please go to File, Company Profile, click the Save icon, go to My Invoice, click Connect My Invoice. After you log into your My Company Profile, connect to My Invoice, you must make sure that your production ERP already set and already activated with this green tick icon. If you do not know how to link the SQL accounting system to your My Invoice Portal account, please refer to my previous video. This will be the first setting. The second setting will be Maintain Customer. Please go to Customer, Maintain Customer, and make sure all your customer have already updated the BRN number, TIN number, address, and so on. For example, this is one of the customer. Make sure you got the customer company name, registration number, address, contact person, postcode, city, state, country, email is optional, phone number is compulsory. Then at text here, must have the BRN number and also TIN number. Then this is the basic setting for all your customer. If this is your first time to update this info, for BRN number and also the TIN number, you can go to Customer, Maintain Customer, right-click the empty space on the right-hand side and click TIN Lookup. Over here, you can expand it and click on this icon to look for the BRN number and for the TIN number, click on this icon to look for the TIN number for all your customers. The third setting will be Maintain Stock Item. Go to Stock, Maintain Stock Item and you need to make sure for all your stock items, the classification code already been set. You can update your item classification code one by one, or you can actually, at the browsing screen, you can click the first item, and then click the shift key, do not release, and highlight certain item, right click, and do batch edit value. By doing this, you can actually update all your item or part of your item to a specific classification code, example 022. When you click OK, the system will update the highlighted item to this new classification code. If you do not maintain item or service, then during transaction, maybe in invoice, you need to select the classification code one by one for your item and service. The fourth setting is maintain supplier. You only need to do this if you need to do self-build e-invoice for your supplier. The way to do is you need to go to supplier, maintain supplier, for example, I outsource my account to a freelancer and he is an individual and do not run a business, then I need to do self build e invoice. So I need to maintain this person information over here. And most important, I update the maybe IC number. If you do not have the IC number, you can put 120 TIN number. Industrial code, you can put 000050. If all your supplier is Malaysia company, basically you do not need to do any e invoice setting for the maintained supplier because your supplier should give you e invoice. Now you understand that in SQL accounting software, for e invoice setting, there are basically four different settings. Please join my social media or join my WhatsApp channel to get the latest update for SQL accounting software and my latest e invoice sharing. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Thank you.